did anyone else get asked to uh, take a quiz? I didn't know there'd be a quiz. I didn't study. Hello and welcome to an episode of Planet Side 2 The More You Know, the series where I teach you tips, tricks, and give you updates about Planet Side 2. Today we will be looking at the new updates that took place on February 27th and 28th in 2014. These updates include new sniper rifles, free guns and abilities, a survey, a new spawn and revive mechanics, new audio, and more. Let's go through them. There is a new spawning mechanic that I really enjoy. When you first load the game, you are welcomed by the deployment screen instead of the warp gate. The first option presented to you is where fighting is taking place, and I like this a lot. This means that when you turn on your game, you can instantly be at the front lines enjoying a good fight. You can also spawn on reinforcement points on other continents if your current continent does not have any need for reinforcements. So finding fights is just super easy now. If you die, your body will remain in play for 30 seconds. To let medics know the status of your timer, your icon will pulsate faster as your 30 second delay approaches. If you get revived, a 10 second timer will begin for you to accept or decline the revive. If the revive question reaches zero, your corpse will disappear from play. All your camos have consolidated into one pool for all your characters, except for faction-specific camos, limited-use camos, and other restrictions. But other than that, all your camos have consolidated into one pool for all your characters. There is a new quiz you can take. If you have not taken the class quiz yet, you will right after you spawn. You can take one quiz for your account. So, me having multiple characters, I did not take multiple quizzes. I took the quiz as my primary and C not knowing what was going on and I regret my result. I did not really want an EM1 light machine gun, I love my god saw. At least I got a boost camo and a gun I didn't have. If you don't recall what guns you already own, just hit ask me later. It does not matter what answers you give at all or your suggested loadout. You can change your suggested loadout to a weapon you do not have yet by selecting pick different. For infiltrators, you get a 250 cert or 500 station cache close range bolt action sniper rifle. Engineers and light assaults get a gun that is also 250 certs or 500 station cache, and the guns have about the same damage per second across the factions. Medics get a decent assault rifle, and heavy assaults get a low rate of fire, high capacity light machine gun compared to their respective default weapon. This usually means a gun that is easier to control. Maxes also get an anti-infantry weapon for their left hand. It is basically the high capacity variant of the default. The exact names of the weapons are in the chart here. Again, it is one survey per account, not per character, and it does not matter how you answer. The gun options are the same. Not only do you get a weapon, but you also get an experience boost for one day and a cells camo. You will also notice a new character slot inserted between your first character slot and second character slot. That character slot has a gift for you. A 1000 cert or 700 station cache semi-auto shotgun, as well as some suit slots and abilities unlocked and equipped. The semi-auto shotguns are now considered default and because they are semi-automatic, they are a great beginner shotgun to players who have not experimented with them yet. The NC get the Mahler S6, the TR get the FA1 Barrage, and the other faction gets the Thantos VE70. Vehicles also get an additional free slot, but it does not come with anything. There's more to the patch, let's keep going. They had a new faction specific sniper rifles. The NC got the AF8 Railjack. This gun has almost no bullet drop due to the insanely fast bullet velocity. However, this gun does have a 0.2 second charge up time, which will need players to think a little differently in terms of how and when they should pull the trigger. The TR got a burst mode option sniper rifle called the Trap M1. It seems to be less of a sniper rifle and more of a high damage, low capacity, medium range burst rifle for infiltrators. This gun can be deadly as its current damage model is similar to the saw in my eyes, killing a soldier in two three round bursts or three headshots. The Vanu get a sniper rifle with infinite ammo and no bullet drop and an additional charge up feature to do more damage in a single shot. In short, this gun basically kills in four shots anywhere at any range and a full charge up shot counts as two shots. 
The headshot counts as double damage, so doing the math yields that the charge up shot kills in one headshot, or two basic shots kill in two headshots. They also added a fourth gun called the NS Vandal, a semi auto scout rifle that is good and in some ways considered better than the faction specific semi auto scout rifles. Remember, if you buy it with station cash, it is available to all your characters. Another thing they added, which I enjoy a lot, is they added some more voiceovers for things like throwing a grenade, repairing, healing, and destroying or killing foes. Bring it out! I'm an engineer, I'll repair you! Grab that sight. They also added voiceover packs, so you can change how your character sounds. These cost station cash, and you can change your voice in the profile page. That's it for the updates. If you want to see more of my videos, check out the links here and in the description. Subscribe if you are not already. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>